what is one of the quickest ways to add interest to what you are singing or to add interest to what you're saying? One word, dynamics, the word listed above, <laughs> above this video, the title. Dynamics, what are dynamics? Well, oftentimes we use this word when we're talking about music and it refers to simply loudness and softness. How loud or soft a particular uh, note is or particular phrase or part of a song is, right? So, musically speaking, be careful that you don't stay at the same dynamic, you know, from start to finish because it can um, take away from the expressiveness of your song. Um, you, you're, you don't sound as expressive. It doesn't sound as, um, it takes away from the emotional content of your song. You want to make sure that you are conscious to build in dynamics as you are singing and as it's appropriate, of course. Louder dynamics convey certain things. Um, just like they do when we're speaking and softer dynamics convey certain things just like they do when we're speaking right in our natural day-to-day uh, -day life so keep that in mind dynamics can just alone can do a huge amount to really um, uh, add interest and sophistication and um, passion to to your music to what you're doing so that keep that in mind in terms of speaking, same thing. Um, we know that when we're speaking and you bring the voice down like this, it uh, has a certain impact on those listening. Uh, uh, one of my mom's teaching techniques, if she wants to get her, her classroom to be quiet, is she doesn't compete with them by yelling and bringing her volume up, but rather she brings her voice down like this. She makes it more quiet. Uh, she speaks in a softer tone and as a result you'd be surprised at how quickly she gets their attention and what you you almost want to lean in to hear what, what she's saying you know what the person's saying so dynamics can be used in many ways um, it can be used to uh, emphasize things it can be used to give a sense of intimacy both whether it's in musically speaking or in spoken language um, both of them both of them <laughs> the loud loudness and softness and all of the uh, aspects in between can be used in so many expressive ways so that is today's quick tip is to keep dynamics in mind be sure that you are conscious to use them as you speak and as you sing and it's amazing you'll find how um, how much it adds to the expressiveness of what you're doing uh, having said that if you uh, think about it sometimes you may hear some songs uh, in certain genres where at least I find that it kind of tires your ear after a while and you're not sure why and it could be f for a few different reasons but one of the reasons can be that the dynamics are just the exact same from beginning to end just you know the same As soon as you vary them it it like sparks your attention even more so so that's something to keep in mind. In terms of the kinds of dynamics, it's not just loud and soft, but we know that it, in terms of sound, <laughs> there's a range, right? There's a range of, of loudness and softness and, and, and everything in between. So if you look back at um, the playlist, my, my video playlist, one of the more recent videos that I did uh, a short while ago dealt with encouraging you if you are a musician in particular, to learn to read music, learn um, the terminology. This is, a, a, you know, a basic building blocks of really becoming, uh, uh, or really, I should say, you know, really getting in charge of your own artistry and the work that you do. So along those lines with dynamics, we have everything from the term, terminology in music anyway, from forte to piano. And this can be applied if you're speaking as well. Forte is loud. Fortissimo or fortissimo <laughs> is super, super, super loud. M, uh, met the, the um, uh, what is it called? I guess you could say the, um, uh, the marking within music. If you see a little small M and a cursive looking F, 
It stands for mezzo forte, which means medium loud. If you see a little small m and a cursive fancy looking p, that stands for mezzo piano, and that means medium soft. And then there's pianissimo, which is very, very soft, etc. So there's a whole range. And um, I encourage you to look into that, look it up for yourself, kind of just read through through some of those terms. You can do so, of course, on the internet. We find everything on the internet, right? Um, you can do so in a, a regular dictionary, but you can also look into a music dictionary, a mus musical dictionary, which I encourage you to pick up as well if you are a musician, if you are a vocalist singing and um, uh, it's good to have that on hand. Um, in addition to using the internet, it's good to have a little pocket pocket music dictionary as well, one that you can kind of keep with you or have around to look up different terms as you continue to grow as a musician. So. For all of my um, wonderful subscribers and to all of you who may stop by my channel to check, to check out what I may be talking about, today's quick tip was about dynamics. I encourage you to um, remember to use them and find ways in which it will really add, again, like I mentioned, to your expressiveness. In the meantime, take care, God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.